What's happening, Impact Wrestling fans? Keith here with another edition of the Impact Report. So originally, I was not going to upload any content this weekend. However, due to breaking news in the Impact Wrestling world, I felt like it was fitting too. So we learned that Friday night during the Impact Wrestling vs. Lucha Underground show that Alberto El Patron no-showed and the main event tag team match was changed to a triple threat match with Phoenix vs. Pentagon Jr. vs. Austin Aries, and they tore the house down. So originally it was speculated that the whole Alberto El Patron thing was a work, considering the fact that he was at the press conference earlier on in the evening. And then rumors were flying that he had notified Impact Wrestling that he was unable to attend due to being sick. And fast forward to Saturday afternoon where we learn that Impact Wrestling has cut ties with Alberto El Patron. Um, I can just say good riddance. Impact is on the upswing. They don't need people like this holding them back. Uh, he has been known to no-show events before, and I think this was the right decision. Let me know what you guys think about this. So, this puts the main event at Redemption in jeopardy, considering the fact that it was supposed to be Austin Aries versus Alberto El Patron for the Impact World Championship. Well, we learned that on Friday night, during the Impact vs. Lucha Underground show, that Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. would be having a match on the Redemption pay-per-view. Austin Aries comes out during a House of Hardcore show on Saturday evening and says, Well, how about for the main event at Redemption... We do a rematch of that triple threat at the Impact Wrestling vs. Lucha Underground show. And this time, it will be for the Impact World Championship. So, I think this was a fantastic decision. Great thinking on their feet. I think this is tenfolds better than the original match that was scheduled to happen. Like I said, they, they put on a hell of a match at the Impact vs. Lucha show. So... It, this was a great way to, I guess, kind of integrate Lucha Underground and Impact Wrestling together. So this works well for both companies. Um, what are your guys' thoughts? I'm curious to know what you, you think about the whole situation. Um, like I said, I've really expressed my dislike for Alberto El Patron, uh, especially considering the way they brought him back. I feel like that he ruined the Bound for Glory main event ver between Eli Drake and... Johnny Impact, um, I feel like it was, uh, it was just, it just left a bad taste in my mouth, to be honest, so, I mean, there, there's still a possibility that, you know, Eli Drake could cash in his briefcase at Redemption, and he may win the title, so there's a lot of, uh, things up in the air, I'm interested to see how they're going to book this, considering the fact that everything was taped, for Alberto El Patron and Austin Aries at Redemption, you know, they all the tapings have are done. So I wonder how they're going to promote this match, and it'll be interesting to see. So this was just like a little quick show to give you guys an update on what's going on in the Impact Wrestling world. Uh, everything should go back to normal next week, and I will see you guys Thursday for my Impact Wrestling review. And until then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.